Welcome to the podcast. My name is Gunnildur. I'm an Iceland. I live in Iceland and this is my podcast, The Project Pile. Because I have projects and they are piles. Um, I can't remember the rest of it. <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on. This is, a po- <laughs> this is a podcast mostly about yarn. It's about knitting, crocheting and, and, and the yarn yarn related that I find out about because um, yarn and fibers are interesting and I think I fumbled up enough for today <laughs> mm. oh yeah I do talk quite a bit about the weather because it affects everything that I do for example yesterday I was gonna have such a cozy rainy day because the forecast was for quite a bit of rain I was I had visions of going outside in my in my boots and rain coat and splash around in puddles. Um, did not remember the forecast also talking about a lot of wind, so that didn't happen because I mean rain is one thing, but on top of wind, and I mean like practically horizontal winds, and um, plus it was cold. And today, um, not as windy, but it is rather cold and we are having like fog and a little bit of rain. It's not as cozy as I was hoping for, honestly. Um, but yeah, um, this video should be up tomorrow, that is Sunday. And Sunday is actually Shomanadagen here in Iceland. And Shomanadagen is... Um, and today that is to commemorate and honor sailors and fishermen. And since my father was a fisherman, I will prop well hopefully it's not gonna be like absolutely annoying weather because I'm planning to go and visit my father's grave and you know bring him a little something. So um hopefully the weather is gonna be Nice, please and thank you. <laughs> but otherwise, nah, just go and check. Say hi for a little bit. Um, but yeah. Uh, actually, I did something yesterday. Um, which I'm rather proud of because this past week has been lazy. Laziness central. <laughs> I've been so lazy, it's like, ha, huh, very restful. Um, so what I did manage to do yesterday was actually clear out my closet a little bit. Um, I went... L- right, the thing that I do, want to do, try to do at least twice a year, it's rotate my closet so that the, like, I have some more summery clothes, um, closure within reeds and the more warmer wintry clothes further down. Like I don't completely rotate my closet like some people do because I live in Iceland and there is no guarantee that I'm not gonna need to use that super fluffy warm sweater um, either today or tomorrow. Like it's Iceland there is no guarantee. Um, <laughs> so I did manage to do that and I did manage to get some clothes out of it as well which honestly surprised me a little bit but I just took a long hard look at some of my clothing items that I do like but if I'm not wearing them or I'm avoiding wearing them or they are some somehow in some fashion uh, are uncomfortable or don't make me feel nice or good Um, Like, there are some clothes that are really really nice, but they are heavy. I dislike wearing too heavy clothing. Like, if it's just like... like, That's gonna influence how you feel. So, those are out. And anything that doesn't fit properly, out as well. Um, Oversized clothing stays because oversized is nice. (laughs) So, at the very least, I managed to do that. So... Um, I haven't read anything, so my reading pile looks exactly the same as it did a week ago. <laughs> mm, other than that, I did manage to do a little bit with the 
blanket. And I'm really loving how the colors are turning out with this colorway. Um, this is the Ice Yarns Dancing Baby. And I am, I am very, very optimistic that this will be for the little girl to be. I mean, I really like the colors, the um, the pinks and the reds and the orange and purple, lilac. I really, really like how they turn out. So, oh, excuse me. <laughs> so I am close to halfway done. With this blanket mm. so when oh that means I'm I'm halfway through the the, the the blankets I'm gonna be making I think yeah I think there's like three more to make so that will be seven I think it, yeah I think it's seven rather than eight um, yeah, got this much done. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with the, like, all the leftover yarn. Um, like, this is from the last one. It's cool. There's a lot left of these skeins. Um, but, like, there's a certain, there's a certain point in the blankets that I like to stop at. So that leaves me with quite a bit of leftover. Mm. Like, I'm not in a hurry to finish up the leftovers, I'm just wondering what I could make. Like, I could make like a patchwork blanket, that would be nice. Ooh. Anyway, I will figure it out. Um, as for next weekend, I am, because I will be taking a trip to Reykjavik, um, it will be a bit of a meetup with my sisters and their families. Um, I'm going to visit museums. And I'm going to hopefully, hopefully, luxuriant and being alone, which hasn't happened since a long, long, long time ago. Like I either I've always been around a lot of people, which is a bit weird when I think about it. Um, I don't think I've honestly been. Eh, nay, nay. Yeah, no, there's always been people around me, so this will be a nice change. Um, might be a little overwhelming, but I definitely think it's something that I need. Um, but because the main point is to go and visit family and see museums that um, I haven't seen, never visited, because unfortunately my family isn't very, very eager about visiting museums, which breaks my heart <laughs> but at the same time it's like I mean at certain museums you just want to take your time but there's always those family members who just want to get through like very very goal oriented and uh, just want to get through things and it's like mm, I want to take my time seeing this thing so that will be I don't think that's that shouldn't really leave me a lot of time except maybe in the evenings so I'm, well, I'm definitely going to bring something with me to work on. Mm. So I was wondering about taking the, one of my forever projects that I haven't really been working on, Isabella Flower, that I started last winter um, with the lovely, lovely moss stitch. Um, I mean, I could work on that. I think... I'm at the point where I should be changing the uh, needle sizes. I think that's where I'm st um, where I stopped at. I mean, that's a candidate because I mean, the balaclava is definitely gonna. It would have been very, very handy now in, I think, whether it was in February or March, I can't quite remember. But we got a little bit of snow and um, snowstorms at that time. The other candidate that I might bring with me is something that I haven't started work on. Um, this is yet another ice yarns. This is a some sort of a cake, like it was on sale. <laughs> I have no idea what it's called. Like I've seen 
pictures of another type of yarn on Ice Yarn's website. Um, and those were the exact same colors and the exact exact same um, like combination, fiber combination. It was just these little balls. Um, so I might work on this and make a shawl because I'm a shawlaholic and shawls are just super super nice. Um, but the knitted or crocheted, I might actually need to go into something knitted because I've been crocheting so much in the past weeks. Um, so yeah, I mean that's ice yarns and this is... This is drops air, and it's so nice to work with. So I might actually bring this project. Like I'm leaving on the sixteenth. That's um, Thursday, so I still have a little time to decide. I mean, obviously, I'm not bringing the blanket with me because the blanket is going to take way, way, way too much space. Um, so, yeah, it's a toss up between either starting yet another project. <laughs> but, I mean, the colors are so nice. Or I might try and work a little bit on the balaclava because the balaclava needs finishing before next winter. <laughs> Mm, I've also been wondering whether to... I mean, I'm probably going to need to bring a book along. Because my ability to focus on anything for too long, just, it doesn't, it doesn't exist. So, um, nice book to bring. That would be nice too. Um, and of course, a notebook and a pen, because you can always sit down and write a little bit. So, yeah. Mm. Other than that, I think I'm good. Um, I'm still not experiencing any sort of like stress for the upcoming trip that I'm taking. I'm feeling ex I'm feeling excitement. Um, a little bit wary because I mean, I'm always going to be. Oh, what's a nice way of putting it? <laughs> um, when you have sociophobia, it's you don't get rid of it, you do hopefully learn how to live with it. Um, so that does make me, I mean honestly it makes me paranoid about strangers. Which, it is understandable, it's a little annoying at times when you just want to forge ahead. Um, but still, I'm not feeling the phobia like rearing its ugly head. I'm just feeling a little apprehension, which I think is understandable, considering that I haven't really gone anywhere for like two years. And I'm feeling excitement about going. This is fantastic. Like, this is how other people feel like. I can understand why, why people go traveling. <laughs> like, you... When you just feel the excitement and none of the anxiety or stress or paranoia, that's just <sighs> nice. But yeah, so still haven't quite planned on what project to take with me. Um, it needs to be fairly light because, I mean, I'm not going on a work trip. <laughs> mm. A book. And a notebook, and I should be got good on that front. Um, yeah. As for the next weekend, I do have a plan. I haven't filmed it yet, but I have a plan to have something for you to look at while I'm gone. So, because I won't be back until the twenty first. No. That's Tuesday. Um. So yeah. I'm going to be filming something probably tomorrow, so that gives me enough time to, you know, do the editing and, and the uploading and all that fun stuff. Mm. So yeah, I think that's enough for me this weekend. 
And uh, yeah. So yeah. Next weekend will be pre-filmed. And then the weekend after that will be business as usual. So until then, take care. Um, have fun. I know I will. And uh, yeah. See you later. Okay. Bless, bless.